Well, it's like kind of a, a, a just like a total absurd thing because you have like a pilot, you know, has like wrapped the, the alien into <laughs> into a parachute and drags it through this like super wide landscape and starts talking to it and hits it and and at the very end he kind of and what we did here we like kind of said look it's like will smith so let's not like you know let's just only it had to kind of end with and what's that smell everything else was like improvised by will smith wow do you remember some of the lines that didn't make it into the movie Oh yeah, there was like endless lines. I mean, it's like, I mean, we just, I, I don't remember them anymore, but uh, we just used like kind of the, 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 the kind of highlights. <laughs> and, and actually the scene was much longer first. <laughs> and then really? We had, no, yeah, we had to cut it down. It's like, you know, it, 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 otherwise it feels like too much a comedy show. But that's actually my true favorite scene in the movie. That's what I call a close encounter. This was no, this was like uh, I had a talk with Mel about this, and he says, "Are they really? Uh, are you really decapitate? Uh, you know, with a cannonball ahead, and do you smash a thing?" I said, "Yes, I will, but it will not be that bloody. But it will. These shots will be in there." And he was like kind of thinking, oh my God, he will like kind of make this a PG-13 film. But then I said like, it's war. Don't forget, it's a real war. And you make a history about the real war. And I kind of chose actually the, the scene, you know, where like his ledger walks into this like uh, burned out, you know, destroyed big plantation house and then goes up and then all of a sudden comes to this, uh, to this window and sees how they, fight against the English and you cannot fight against the English like that. And that was like for me the the pivotal point where everything turns and where he like kind of says, no, we have to kind of, you know, like attack their supply lines. We have to, you know, we have to do, you know, a little bit, you know, what, you know, um, you know, rebels do. Or, and they, they, they never liked the word rebel very much for them, so they called themselves the Patriots. Uh, it's, it's the water because it was so hard to do. <laughs> and uh, it was a, like a nightmare. First was like, uh, I don't want to kind of call your names, but it was first one company which just couldn't do it. And we like kind of found a company could do it, but could not render it. Uh, it was just so hard to make this water and that's like, and it was like kind of a very pivotal scene, you know, I mean, I had to get these kids into the library. <laughs> they couldn't like kind of not use these shots. <laughs> uh it's it's like it's like engine start yes <laughs> was that a real thing oh yeah that okay. was like, actually they have that they have that in their bentleys uh, for me a, a cool way to show all these like luxury cars you know like kind of just like fall out of the back of a, <laughs> of an antinoth <laughs> There's a great moment at the end of that sequence where you have the guy kind of teetering on the edge and you think maybe he's safe and then no, you just kill him off. Can you talk about that at all? Well, it was like, uh, this was like, a, a, um, I think a Swedish or Finnish actor. And uh, yeah, he's like kind of teetering on the thing. <laughs> and then he falls. It's just like kind of sometimes you have to do that. Otherwise, uh, a movie becomes too silly. You know, you have to have like jokes and then you have to show something brutal. Yeah, Jamie Vanderbilt was writing it. And uh, and at one point I said to him, I think we should uh, make this scene bigger. You know, and he says, why? I said, like, because we have nothing happening. So if we not like kind of make a big thing happening, the movie feels falls flat there. And, and that's why we like kind of then, it was like kind of first this long and then this long, and then this long. And I constantly invented stuff, 
you know <laughs> because when the when the, the rotor goes through the ceiling it's like really amazing <laughs> yes and we Why built would... that we built that we had to because it was like too close to actors and at that time you know i was i was like felt a little bit uh worried about that it was for me it was for me the the kind of thing you know that when you like have uh, a real good friend and then that guy comes not back that is like kind of it's heartbreaking that's like kind of why did i come back and the other guy, guy didn't come back and and that's uh you know for me it was like kind of a great scene because uh, we had like a lot of other things around happening there and i said no let's make that pure let's make this purely about that and um you know I actually it's one of my favorite things actually it was like kind of one of these things you know where i said there has to be a t uh, um, a, a time clock and so how do you introduce a time clock and it is like actually because it has to happen in 28 minutes, then they make it up. But at the same time, the moon is so close that it has like kind of a huge tide. So how do you deal with that? That was like kind of the the, the idea behind it. And uh, when I proposed it, they all said, yeah, okay, you know, okay. Um, and, and then we kind of had really fun with it because it was like this, this kind of, time clock and and everything was was pretty much like kind of due to that and then always like when they kind of free the the water the kids are still there then they have to go and you think everything is fine right they're going now up there and then all of a sudden you know one of the booster rockets uh, stops working <laughs> <laughs>